wasn't going to do it. You forced me into it. Freaking Ahsoka is a freaking clown show. That's right, I'm the man you may know as E from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And yeah, I've been berating Ahsoka mercilessly. And yeah, I've been feeling a lot of heat about it. Yes, I trolled everyone back because all the shills were complaining. But I just finished watching Ahsoka. And I promise, I'm not even going to do a breakdown of it. I just don't care enough to do a breakdown because nothing happens in epi the penultimate episode. But what did happen was I just happened to be perusing YouTube, and I won't say who it was, but I can't believe this episode. I'm telling y'all, this episode was a 10 out of 10. It was the, this could be the I'm feeling things about Ahsoka now. Get out of... T I, like, what clown world do we... I know we live in clown world. I, I get that. Everything is insane. But how could you possibly... Which part of this show was super amazing? The part where C-3PO shows up and you get more key jangling and it's the most stilted dialogue I've ever heard. Like a three-year-old could write better dialogue than this. It was is that part where they're like, I object. I clearly an Imperial spy and I'm not going to say anything. Um... Or is it the part where Ezra is like, oh, uh, the force, I don't need a lightsaber. The force is my ally. And then I immediately pick up a blaster and start shooting people. Is it that part? Or was it the part where Grand Admiral Thrawn has literally done nothing tactically genius <laughs> other than pull his troops out from a clearly superior, like they clearly had superior firepower? What is he worried? He's going to lose all of his clone, to all of his troopers? Or is it the part where Lord Balon still hasn't revealed anything to us, where we have no idea what he's doing, says goodbye to his, you know, says an emotional goodbye to his Padawan or apprentice or whatever she is to send her in to lose to Ahsoka? Like, what? Which part of this was super awesome? The part where they literally <laughs> round up their little hermit crab friends in a circle with no weapons because they're gonna survive that that's better than running away which part of those things is a 10 out of 10 please explain to me how that's even possible this show is so poorly done the plot is let's get thrawn we found thrawn they keep talking about going home Unless they're hitching a ride on some space whales that disappeared, they ain't getting home. The acting between Sabine and Ezra is cringe. <laughs> like, this show sucks. I, I just, there's nothing more I can say about it. It just sucks. It's full of clowns. It's written by clowns. It's directed by clowns. Watching people run on and off screen, like, hop, 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 hop. Like, it, it, it's just, just, it's terrible. Terrible. At what point do I, am I supposed to think that Grand Admiral Thrawn is a genius? He's like, watch this chat tactical move. Oh, wait, I'm just going to watch my stormtroopers die. <laughs> when he used the, the, the sorcerers to find, he literally says, <laughs> he goes, oh, We'll flush out Ahsoka so she can do whatever she wants and we'll be one step ahead of her. Please explain to me, Mr. Dave Filoni, where you're, where anybody's one step ahead of anybody in this show. <laughs> Bro, you don't have enough crowns in, the, in your box to find out exactly how many steps ahead you are of Thrawn. The Thrawn books, he is he, are are very intelligently written books, and I have yet to see a lick of intelligence out of this guy. Who's like, time is on. I cost her time. Time is on my side. Congratulations, bro. <laughs> Whatever. Like I don't. I I just. I'm not. I can't do it anymore. I I'm gonna watch the last episode. But when you tune into a live stream of somebody saying that this shows a this episode. This is the best episode. This episode's a 10 out of 10. 
where Ahsoka slowly does some sort of karate forms. You know, she uses a distinctly different style than Anakin fought with, right? She uses two lightsabers. At the very minimum, she uses twice the amount of lightsabers that he usually uses. When they fought each other, they had different techniques. Yet he tells her to practice these forms. And he he did 20 messages for her. He's very thoughtful. Is that the part that was 10 out of 10? Where Anakin's the thoughtful person? You know, the person who murdered all the younglings? He's a thoughtful guy. It's not his fault that he, that he changed. He wasn't prideful or you know, arrogant, or any of those things. No, he was a great master. Let's just retcon it. Who cares? What a waste of my time. This show sucks. I was holding it back before. I was giving it the benefit of the doubt. It was. It's still better than Obi-Wan Kenobi because you cannot hide a child under a trench coat and ever. That's not forgivable. Cannot happen. It, it, people act like Anakin's never been in the show. Anakin was literally in the sh- in Star Wars last year. This is not new. And the, and then the hologram of him is terrible de aging again. What are we doing here? He doesn't even get to. He says three lines. Is that that's the ten out of ten? All of those things are ten out of ten. Please explain in the comments below where the ten out of ten is. As for me, I can't, I I'm, I this, I have no words for the show, but. I guess I'm on to the next one. So, adios.